SpaceX has not only revolutionized space travel, but also revitalized the entire Brownsville area. Once ranked one of the poorest areas in Texas, SpaceX has won the hearts of many locals by becoming the largest job provider around. And to return the favor, the government of Texas has just made a monumental decision that may ensure SpaceX's future in the state. Let's talk about Starbase, why it was built in Texas, and all the support SpaceX has received from the locals and the government. As time progresses, it's challenging to anticipate when Starship's second orbital flight will take place. This delay isn't primarily due to technical issues with the vehicle or its engines. Instead, it stems from regulatory hurdles involving the Federal Aviation Administration and environmental organizations in South Texas. However, this setback doesn't mark the end of SpaceX's journey. Despite encountering obstacles from certain agencies, SpaceX continues to maintain a robust position, largely owing to the unwavering support of the Texas state government. You might be wondering about the actual role this agency plays in supporting SpaceX. The reality is that their contributions are more substantial than you might imagine. Elon Musk, known for his aversion to external directives, decided that his company SpaceX would construct its launch facilities on privately owned land in Texas. This strategic choice served as an alternative to using government leased sites. Since SpaceX established its presence in South Texas, they have effectively transformed Boca Chica Beach into the central hub for Starship-related activities. This location has evolved into a place of pilgrimage for both Musk himself and space enthusiasts worldwide. Many local elected officials and business leaders in Brownsville view SpaceX as a beacon of hope for one of the most economically challenged counties in the state. In a testament to Musk's influence, a mural featuring his likeness graces the heart of Brownsville, symbolizing the city's newfound prosperity thanks to his patronage. According to a recent economic impact study, SpaceX has made a significant financial commitment to Cameron County. The study reveals that SpaceX has invested a remarkable $430 million in various operations within the county. Brownsville's mayor, Trey Mendez, highlighted that this substantial investment encompasses payroll expenditures, construction projects, and capital improvements. Notably, in the past year, SpaceX contributed a staggering $885 million to the gross economic output of Cameron County. Furthermore, the company has actively fostered job growth in the region. Mayor Mendez emphasized that SpaceX has emerged as the largest private employer in the area, boasting a workforce of 1,600 employees. Impressively, 71% of these employees are recruited from the Rio Grande Valley, reinforcing SpaceX's commitment to the local community. Additionally, SpaceX has established a substantial presence within the city limits of Brownsville. The company has leased a sprawling 46,000 square feet of space at the Brownsville Aerospace Industrial Park, situated at the South Padre Island International Airport. It has also dedicated $500,000 to renovate and upgrade this facility, signaling its long-term commitment to the region. Mayor Mendez aptly described these financial figures as nothing short of extraordinary, alluding to the truly remarkable impact that SpaceX has had on the local economy. In 2011, inside a glass-walled conference room at the California headquarters of SpaceX, Elon Musk, the chief executive officer of the company, expressed his interest to Texas officials in the ambitious idea of constructing the world's inaugural commercial rocket launch pad within their state. In the months following that initial discussion, state and local authorities in Texas worked to provide Musk with what he needed to turn his vision into a reality. This included offering approximately $20 million in financial incentives, modifying existing laws to enable the closure of a public beach during rocket launches, and providing legal protection from noise complaints. These measures were deemed essential by Texas officials, as they believed they were necessary to entice the creation of jobs that many other states were actively competing to secure. Gilberto Salinas, the executive vice president of the Brownsville Economic Development Council, revealed that SpaceX had informed them that Brownsville was just one of several potential locations under consideration for their project. However, as Salinas delved deeper into the project's potential, he became increasingly convinced that it held the transformative power to reshape the entire region. He expressed, it made me want the project, highlighting his strong belief in its potential impact. Brownsville, despite its alluring features such as white sand beaches, a rich Texas history, and a subtropical climate, had often been stereotyped as a quiet border town, typically only making national headlines in the context of immigration issues and border-related violence. Town officials recognized that Elon Musk's SpaceX represented an extraordinary opportunity for the community's future. Brownsville Commissioner Rose Gowan expressed her optimism, noting that the project marked a significant step forward for the town's children and that it was on its way to becoming a vibrant and flourishing community. To sweeten the deal, the state of Texas had provided substantial incentives totaling $15.3 million at the time. However, despite these positive developments, uncertainty seemed to cloud the future of Starbase following a meeting organized by Musk at the site on February 10th, 2022. Additionally, during the construction phase of the launch site at Starbase by SpaceX, numerous issues emerged. 
Politicians engaged in heated debates regarding the advantages of the launch complex, while lawyers grappled with regulatory intricacies. Environmentalists raised valid concerns about the potential impact of the enormous rocket factory and development site on local wildlife. Moreover, the process faced its fair share of hurdles, including significant delays and challenges related to securing the broad area environmental permit and the necessary launch and testing licenses for Starship rockets. Given these obstacles, the notion of abandoning Starbase was not entirely beyond consideration. Elon Musk has openly discussed the possibility of relocating rocket launching operations to Florida in the event of further delays in obtaining environmental clearance. He suggested that research and development could still continue at Boca Chica. However, focusing solely on research and development activities in Boca Chica would not satisfy the economic development leaders in the Rio Grande Valley. These leaders see the potential for rocket launches from Boca Chica as a tremendous opportunity to boost tourism in the region. The concerns of South Texas supporters were vocalized, and Jessica Tetro, a Brownsville City Commissioner and a fervent supporter of SpaceX, was among those who were present during the discussion. She mentioned that the revelation about potentially moving operations to Florida came as a surprise to her and others in attendance. However, it also served as a wake-up call, motivating them to redouble their efforts and work more swiftly to make a compelling case for why Starship should remain in South Texas. The notion of Boca Chica Beach becoming the gateway to Mars has been intertwined with the site's identity from its very beginning. In 2014, during the ribbon-cutting ceremony, Elon Musk positioned the spaceport as a place where historic achievements would unfold. If SpaceX were to relegate its Texas spaceport to a research facility, there would still be an economic benefit derived from the demand for skilled workers. Currently, there are approximately 1,600 employees working at the Starbase facilities. However, the concern is that some of these jobs may be relocated to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Interestingly, in 2013, the US Census named our city as the poorest in America, which was the same year SpaceX chose this location for its next launch site. Commissioner Tetro described it as a sense of destiny, as though this collaboration was always meant to happen and was a saving grace for their community during challenging times. She expressed her hope that the positive momentum generated by SpaceX's presence would continue without any job losses to Florida or the need for families to uproot and relocate. In response to the looming possibility of a major aerospace company relocating its operations, prominent leaders in the state of Texas have voiced their stance. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has come forward as a staunch supporter of SpaceX and its ambitious mission to obtain federal authorization for launching its super-heavy Starship aerospace system from Boca Chica, Brownsville. Governor Abbott expressed his frustration with the bureaucratic process required to secure federal approval for the launch site. He viewed it as an unnecessary hurdle that, in his view, exemplified the federal government's tendency to obstruct innovation. The Republican governor emphasized his personal collaboration with SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, and conveyed his belief that gaining federal approval would not only benefit SpaceX, but also have a positive impact on the Texas economy as a whole. Governor Abbott left no room for doubt when it came to his unwavering support for Elon Musk and SpaceX during the approval process. He made it abundantly clear that he is fully committed to assisting the company in obtaining the necessary licenses. The governor's commitment extended to working directly with SpaceX to ensure their complete presence in Boca Chica. This passionate support from Governor Abbott is entirely understandable, given the substantial benefits that SpaceX brings to Texas. With the state having secured SpaceX's presence, the goal is to create a safe and conducive environment for its growth. Earlier this year, Governor Abbott called upon the state legislature to allocate $350 million for the establishment and funding of the Texas Space Commission over the next two years. The rationale behind this investment is to foster the continued development of the space industry in the state, ensuring that Texas remains at the forefront, not just within the United States, but on a global scale. This commitment was articulated in Governor Abbott's budget document for the 88th legislature. According to the document, the proposed Texas Space Commission will play a pivotal role in solidifying Texas as the foremost destination for innovation and development within the rapidly expanding space industry. Its primary focus would be on policy development, and the establishment of a statewide strategy. This would involve actively monitoring local, state, and federal policies and identifying opportunities that can further bolster the economic ecosystem for space-related enterprises in Texas. The commission would consist of 15 members, including appointees from political officials, and notably, an appointee from SpaceX. While it seems that the Texas government is doing everything it can to keep SpaceX in Boca Chica, do you think it was wise for SpaceX to build the Starbase in Texas or could they have done better by sticking to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida? Please let us know in the comments below.